What a long shift. I can't wait to get off this afternoon. Lieutenant Briel and I are going to make some popcorn in my quarters and watch an old-style movie double feature. You're not going to stay in your cabin for hours, are you? Dr. Chief Owl has told the crew that we should limit our time in enclosed chambers to no more than 37 minutes at a time. Really? I know the Chief Owl is here for two weeks as part of the Space Doctor Exchange Program while Dr. McCoy is on one of his people's grazer ray ships, but that's a strange policy. Oh! Dr. Chief Owl was adamant about it. He quoted his people's medical guidelines against being cooped up. You have to understand, Paul. A lot of Chief Owl's ideas are based upon his people's having descended from savannah-dwelling herbivores. They're a naturally claustrophobic culture, fearing enclosed spaces. But he's a doctor. He said it is a proven fact that it's unhealthy to be within enclosed spaces for longer than absolutely necessary. You should really follow the science. People have lived in enclosed spaces throughout history. Look at the Earth colony on New Reykjavik. Due to the freezing temperatures, the colonists have to stay 98% of the time in small caves. And they often live to 120. Well, Dr. Chiefow absolutely mandates that everyone in the crew stay out of small rooms, like our cabins. He's a trained doctor, Lieutenant. Science is science. I know, but you Dr. have to... Dr. Chiefow wouldn't say it if it wasn't scientifically valid. Excuse me, crewman. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The argument you are employing, Mr. Erickson, is not logical. In fact, you are exhibiting equivocation, an informal fallacy of ambiguity. His argument seems to make sense. That may be so, but the form of the argument is invalid. The fallacy of equivocation occurs when a key term or phrase in an argument is used in an ambiguous way, with the term taking one meaning in one portion of the argument and another meaning in the other portion. Mr. Erickson, you committed this fallacy when you used the term science in two different ways. In one case, you meant science, the discipline learned by doctors, which is the application of the scientific method, namely, verifying or rejecting a new theory based upon experimentation. You then went on to indicate that science also refers to the pronouncements of scientific practitioners, such as doctors, so that it was science when doctors declared a policy or imposed a mandate. Both of these disparate definitions are valid. The problem with equivocation comes when the two differing definitions for the same term are used within the same logical context and assuming the two definitions are equivalent. Thank you, Mr. Spa. Yes. Dr. Chifau is a doctor and a man of science. However, just because a scientist believes Proposition X does not mean that if the scientific method were applied to X that it would necessarily show X to be valid. Doctors are scientists, but they are also human and subject to preferring outcomes that meet their cultural, political, or ideological alignment or agenda. Thus, the opinions of scientists are not necessarily good science. Of course. I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as equivocation a form of ambiguity. It's only logical. 